What's up guys, my name is Adit Yasai and in today's video, I will be narrating to you a small day in a life and how exactly I studied for session exams, a day before session exams. So to start things off, I have to let you know that I am a library guy in the sense that if I were to study, it will be in the library. Now at the library, I proceed to take out the essentials. Namely, I got my textbook, I got my iPad and finally I got my phone. So as you guys can tell by the textbook, I have community medicine exam the very next day. I mean, just look at me, look at me all set to learn the most fun subject ever, community medicine. So let me first give you guys some context here. Okay. Firstly, it is the fact that community medicine is my weak subject in third year. Like of talent immunity, simple scenes, but community, <laughs> no scene, full scene. And added to that was the fact that the sessional topics for community medicine were quite vast. I kind of knew in the back of my mind that there was no way that I'm gonna finish this. But hey, we are not gonna give up. We are not gonna give up without a fight. So with that initial spurt of motivation, I decide to stay in the game, okay? To not give up, to not give up without a fight. So now let us actually talk about the details of it. What exactly did I do preparing for this exam last minute? What exactly were my tools in my arsenal? Yeah, I wish I could do, do this animation where I take a sword out of thin air. Like, you know, that, that'd be, that'd be really cool. Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't know anything about animation. Yeah, it. So anyways, the first thing that I did was look at the past question papers. So I'm sure that some of you guys might have heard about this rule. And that is that one month before the exam, study everything. One week before the exam, study all the important chapters. But in my case, which is one day, one day before the exam, just study the important questions. That's it. So this being the session exam, I was pretty sure that they're not going to ask anything outside the box. Important questions which have been repeated are the ones that they're going to ask. So I proceed to go through the PDF version that I have of the question bank, all these important questions, all the previous questions, I just go through them, right? Highlight them, just see, just see what's up, right? Just, and after that, I go on to do the same in my textbook. You know, just see what exactly is there to study. Each question is how much pages, how much paragraphs, just have a broad understanding to exactly what is there to study. Also, hopefully my future self will actually thank me, right, for doing this. Right, the next time I open the textbook, I'll have all these markings, all these sticks, all these, all these stars. It gives you the sense of, oh, I have done something, right? I have gone through this once. So it is not going to be that hard. Even though I might have forgotten literally everything, it is just the small belief that, that hopefully helps. It's good, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. So finally, after scanning all the topics, right? Getting a broad understanding about what exactly do I have to study, I proceed to delve in. So the way I study, especially at the library, is by studying in these small, small chunks of time. You now small pomodoros, equally spaced out. 25 minutes, five minute break, 25 minutes, five minute break. That's how I study. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's coming to medicine. The chances of getting, getting sedated <laughs> by the subject is, is disproportionately high. So which is why I take a small break just to shake things off and actually get back to focus. So anyways, after a few sessions of studying, right? Or maybe just after just one session of studying, it is usually time for a break. And during a break, these are the things that I do. Option one is to take out my headphones, plug it in and just listen to some music. Five minute break, maybe just listen to one or two songs. Option number two is, is sleeping. Now in terms of community medicine, this was uh, a very overused option, I could say. And finally, there is this new option, which is option number three. And that is to stare, to stare into the unknown, to stare into the uncertainty. Just, just, just stare, yeah, just, just stare. <laughs> that is a new thing that I've been doing, just, just stare. So after a few more Pomodoro sessions, you know, finally it is time for a longer break and I proceed to go for lunch. And after lunch, I proceed to do the exact same thing. Except that I was a bit more drowsy and option two was overused. So this is basically how I studied for community exam the very last day. Now the question that some of you might have is, you know, how did the exam go? You know, how was the exam? How did I, did I ace it? You know, just studying last minute, did I kill it? So I'll be honest with you guys, the exam went absolutely downright terrible. If you thought I would study last minute before exam and just ace that test, you know, just get all the answers, you know, those stuff only works out in the movies, man. It actually never happens to me. For me specifically, it's like either I do good 
or either I do back. It's like this all or none phenomenon. There is no middle ground for me as such. So anyways, the results have not come. So let us wait for that. Let us wait for the results. Lastly, if there was anything that I learned from writing that community exam, it would be that to stop complaining, okay, and take responsibility. I could give myself and I could give you all these, all these excuses like, I only had one or two days to study for the exam. The portions were a lot, I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. But in the end, the only reason the exam was hard was because I didn't study well enough. End of story. So in this way, hopefully, for the next exam, I would put in more effort. It's sometimes, it is, it is as simple as that. It is as simple as that. So anyways, if you have stuck until this part of the video, firstly, I want to say thank you. And also let me know how good was this vlog style video. This is the first time actually doing something like this, so I'm not sure how well this video is actually gonna turn up but it is certainly a new thing to me so, so i just want to know your thoughts on how this video turned up to be so thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it give this video a like it definitely makes up for all the effort that was put into this video and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one peace